All right, we're at the home of uh, Pat and Mary Watson. We're doing hardy plank, we're doing windows, and we're doing a door. So we're gonna take a look at all that. Uh, basic kind of uh, overreaching kind of scope of work. We're doing a full tear off. We're doing a reconditioning of any angled soffit, such as our gable ends, any horizontal soffit that's parallel to the ground. We're doing a, fit, a soffit replacement or actually soffit nail over with the hardy soffit vented. Uh, we are doing a fascia overlay, which is gonna be a little difficult, a little challenging. We'll take a look at that in a second. There is no drip edge. Um, and again, we're using the Select Sierra 8. Um, and where we're not putting on hardy soffit, we're doing a reconditioning. Um, but there are several areas of fascia repair that need to happen before we do our uh, fascia overlay. So we'll look at that here. Uh, it is a two by eight, uh, two by six fascia, um, and uh, we have a. I guess we'll just jump right into that. We have this metal drip drip cap here, and it is flush on there. And I know this is it, it's a problem, um, but with the condition of their fascia, something needs to be done. We can't leave this bare wood. So um, I don't know if we, uh, you know, can get that cut the you know the drip edge and get it up under there, and then lay the drip edge back on over it or if we need to create another drip edge under that and butt the, uh, almost like a Z flash, and butt the, uh, uh, the 5 16 hardy fascia up to the Z flash. Um, but uh, either way, I mean, the right thing to do here is do a fascia overlay and, and solve some of the fascia problems they're having. So that's, uh, it was addressed and, and diagnosed and, and we'll leave it in the hands of our, uh, you know, our qualified installers to make the determination on that. But again, you can see here, it's all vertical siding. And again, we're going back with Select Sierra 8. We're gonna do our OSB underlayment, uh, Tyvek seam tape flashing, all the necess necessary weather protections. And then we'll go on top of that with the Select Sierra 8. All windows, all gable vents will be retrimmed in a hardy one x four. Um, the vents are in good condition, so all we're gonna do is just clean those up and paint them. Um, we are doing a garage door wrap on both garage door frames. And the column in the center here, we'll just make that a standard, you know, just a flush column. Right now it kind of recesses. So we'll do a flush column on that, make it look a little prettier. <clears throat> um, but both garage doors will be painted and the frames will be overlaid with the Hardy. So coming on over to the front here. All the windows are renewable by Anderson Series 1 windows. Both bathroom windows are obscured. The little gable up there is the same select sierra and again that soffit will be reconditioned up top the horizontal stuff down below will be vented this is going to be a picture window with a colonial grill all the little aprons above there you see this little little capping there that's all going to be hardy plank as well i gave him gilbert to kind of take care of this column issue up here uh, maybe use some of the brick from this last column to fill in where that beam was protruding out of the wall there So there they'll be uh, Colin Gilbert to get that addressed again all the way across here We have some this isn't rot, but we have some separation up there of the corner um, This piece however starting from right here where these beams were into uh, Were nailed into the fascia. We got some rot So that's gonna have to be replaced and we accounted for all visible rot Right where you see the address and inside the sides of the porch will all be the hardy plank. Porch ceiling is just gonna be reconditioned and painted. Coming across here, this one on the front will be a double hung. Keeping the same, uh, we'll do a three to two split. And the capping again up here, <coughs> excuse me, will be a, um, will be a hardy plank. Going over to the side here, you got brick below. Again, this is another one of the bathroom windows. It's just the obscure. Capping will be hardy right here. All of this will become Select Sierra 8 and reconditioned soffit. Vents in good condition. I'm just gonna paint it. Box is down below, so we don't have to worry about taking that off. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, <clears throat> again, we're getting now back to the the uh, horizontal soffit so we're going to do vented soffit here and we have good separation here um, when we talked about this on our walk around we have this nice little end of the gable that we can use as a separating point between 
our vented and non-vented soffit. So we have the luxury of being able to do that in a way that makes sense where we don't have any, you know, uh, kind of continuous problems to deal with. The back's in, in probably the worst shape as we can see right now. It's just getting blasted by the sun and uh, Pat's replaced it. You know, see where the one by two is. He's just scabbed in some new um, siding. But we're gonna take all this off. There'll be no seam or no joint because we've got an eight foot wall. Retrim all the windows in one by four. <clears throat> we have some pretty substantial rot here. Again, we accounted for base plate that we can see is, is rotten. Um, as well as over here underneath the bay window. So that's accounted for. If we get in there and have to reframe the whole chimney, then that's something we're gonna have to talk about. But again, the visible rot that I can see was accounted for uh, as we scope the work. Carriage lights, we can take those down and reinstall them. Again, all these windows. This is the door we're replacing with the same thing, a six panel from Provia. Outswing, left hand hinged. Um, hardware th hinging threshold. Interior trim, exterior trim will all be replaced. You can see you got some very severe rot down at the, the corner of the jams. Um, again, uh, pretty good on the face up until we get to this point. And then we got a nice little uh, oops a daisy here. So that corner is going to have to be rebuilt before we do our fascia overlay. <clears throat> you can see here the corners are riveted in. So there we're going to have to, like I said, just get a little creative in terms of, uh, you know, doing our overlay. Um, you know, so we can make that work and accomplish that for them. Again, these windows are all staying. All the other windows are staying. Nothing's changing in terms of configuration with the windows. And then we go right back to the corner where we started on the, uh, on the garage side of the house. That's what we got. It's going to be a, oh my gosh, it's going to be a tremendous uh, improvement. It's going to look amazing when the new Hardy goes on. And I think you guys are going to be, um, you're going to be pretty thrilled with, with your new home on the exterior. So we really appreciate uh, your trust and confidence and letting us work for you. I really enjoyed talking with you all last night. And uh, we look forward to doing a great job for you. Thanks so much.